44 yards. I feel like I could do that. Bro, no, you could not. I really think I can. We can go to the field right now and test it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Hey, we just pulled up to the field. Hannah's strapping up the cleats right now. I'm lacing them up. <laughs> Everybody at one point has seen a kicker miss a field goal and said, I can make that kick. Y'all heard her in the intro. She said the same thing. I don't think she understands how hard kicking field goals actually is. I've seen her kick a few times. She's actually not as bad as people would think she is. Excuse but me. today we're going to be teaching her to actually kick field goals, get better. Y'all going to learn some things along the way. Hey, make sure y'all watch till the end of the video because all the way through, I'm going to be sprinkling secrets on how to kick field goals. Y'all got to make sure you watch the entire video. I might give y'all the most important one at the end. Sprinkling secrets? Yeah. Never heard that one before. They better find out. <laughs> If you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get into it. Bro went and got cleats just for this video. Aren't they pretty? I love them. I get a lot of compliments on them. Nah, they're actually kind of tough. Hold on, let me go put mine on because I got to kick some balls too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you agree with me that those look like cheeto hot Where Cheetos? She says my cleats look like flaming Hot Cheetos. These look exactly and like- They do not look like flaming Hot Cheetos. Yes, they do. Whoever created those had Cheetos on their mind. I'm not saying I don't they like them. Like do they look like Cheetos? Let me know in the comments. Come on, you're slower than me and you do this every day. Ready to we kick? We'll figure it out. <laughs> I heard, I heard just, a crack. Your hip just exploded. I heard this a crack. Gonna be good. All right, so obviously today I'm coaching you on how to kick field goals, but it's only right. I feel like if I got the first kick, I'm going to show her what it's supposed to look like, and we're going to see where it goes from there. Let's go. How do you think it's going to go? We've your kick or mine? My kick's going right <laughs> down the middle. We've obviously kicked together a few times. Y'all have seen it on the short form videos, but she asked for some help. She wanted to learn how to kick field goals, so that's what we're doing today. How do you think it's going to go? Well, I've been usually going off of straight athleticism. I don't know the form. I don't know this, really the steps. You taught me a little bit, but like I think I'm going to be better towards the end, but I think the start of the video is going to be a little rough. Hopefully she is better at the end of the video but she said athleticism she's a hooper y'all know she's got that she's been doing it off of just athleticism what she knows now she actually gonna learn how to do it hopefully she's better at the end of the video let's, let's go hope. seems like we're awfully far back i mean i'm kicking oh if I, if I kick any closer than this the ball goes on the road okay, honestly right here's a little bit of a push but they got soccer right behind us so we kind of got to be right here right okay now. big you know body it's freezing okay bro said it's freezing it's like negative 20 in montana right now it's like 40 degrees in arizona I'm she's like bro it's so cold i'm so cold because arizona is supposed to be warm so normally i would have you hold right now yeah but i need you to watch okay i need you to learn i'm gonna study everything Thing. We're going to the details later. Okay. Right now you're just watching the kick. Don't hit me. If I hit you, I should probably quit kicking all together. <laughs> this is the last second you'll see. If, if I hit her right here, the video ends. Boom. Bang. Right down the middle. Just like I told you. That's a great ball. Was, I ain't even warm up. That was a great ball. Thank you. You're welcome. Now that's what yours are going to look like. Yeah. So y'all saw what it's supposed to look like. Y'all see what it's supposed to look like every video. But hey, we've got to <laughs> move up right now. We're not focused on distance today. We're working on technique. We're working on getting the ball off the ground. Because y'all have seen she's kind of had some weird rotation. She's gotten the ball off the ground. But we need to get it up off the ground with some good rotation. That's our goal right now. Let's go. We're up here inside the end zone right now. Y'all are probably wondering, why are you in the end zone? Well, they got this soccer goal conveniently placed for us right here. I'm not trying to go get the footballs after she kicks them. So we're gonna kick into the soccer net, work on contact point. Cause right now I don't care if she makes kick. I want her contact to get up off the ground. I want it to start spinning right. Y'all have seen in the past, she's kind of had, you know, some balls that have kind of been like X balls. We want to get that nice and tight. <laughs> we want to get a nice end over end ball rotation. And we gonna work on that with the soccer goal. Let's go. First drill I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you hug this post right here. Okay. And this is gonna like simulate your plant. You've kicked before, so I can kind of like paraphrase and you'll understand yeah. what's going on, right? So we're gonna pretend that the ball's right here. Okay. And we're basically just working on our back swing through and getting the leg like straight up and through because the follow through is really important for this. <laughs> this is weird. Okay. Am I leaned up against? Yeah. So basically when you think about it, right? When I'm here kicking this ball, I'm not just like hunched over. We don't want to be here. Because okay. then your force is gonna take you to yeah. like swing the ball out. When you watch me kick a lot of the times i'm planting here and my body is upright so that is allowing you to be able to lean a little bit and hold on to something while you work on it so you can honestly okay. push your foot out a little bit towards me yep and then you're kind of like have that natural lean to your left while you're doing it. so now you're working that lean to your left while you're still able to swing up through that just gives you stability i feel actually unathletic though good was that really good or are you just saying good so now i just want you to no step the ball it's the same thing as that but now you have a ball so basically all it's going to look like is your plants here you're just going to wind and you're going to swing through the ball just like that we're just going to work on contact point and get a feel for the ball with your foot this foot's staying straight the entire time each of these things improves your contact just like a little bit i hate doing no step but it got me better contact over time by doing them you see how the ball got up? Yeah, because it hit my toenail. A little bit of a miss hit, but the ball went yeah. up. Progress. It's exactly what Progress. I told y'all we were about to do right here. Your foot angle was actually better on that one too. That's probably one thing I'm not going to be able to really teach her just in this video is foot angle. Y'all know that you're supposed to have your ankle locked out and all that stuff. It takes a long time to develop that trait to where you can lock your ankle out and actually kick. A lot of people swing through with their club foot and that's where you'll see X balls. You want to have your ankle locked out and get up through the ball. It's something that I can't really just like teach you in one day but that one actually looked pretty good thanks now it's the same thing but only one step this time so all we're doing is we're taking a diagonal step like this it just simulates that second step before your final step in your approach and all we're doing is just one step hop into the ball 
school. Whoa. We're just working was, on getting contact with the ball. That was a lot of contact. And then my Basically what like foot this? goes forward. It's your right. I thought it was my left foot. Well, yeah, but we're doing one step. Oh, so this okay. is like you're already taking your first step, I see. right? Okay. So now you're basically just hopping in just like this. You're going right to your plant foot right here, and your eyes should always be like right here on the ball. This is a mental thing. Like It's very mental. Boom. The ball's getting off the ground way better than it normally does. It's going to be harder to obviously generate enough power to get the ball off the ground with a one step. A little tight. <laughs> it's not. Good. All right, so we moved the camera back to the five yard line right now. I know you can't hit a field goal from the five yard line in the game, but that's what we're going to start with right now. They got the post slipped around right now, so it adds like an extra seven to 10 yards. We'll say seven yards. So this is really a 22 yard field goal right now, which you can't hit in the game. You ready? Mm -hmm. She sounds confident, just like she did earlier. <laughs> I can make that kick. Yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see if you can make that kick. You already kind of know the steps a little bit, and I'm going to show you the steps. Okay. We're going to go three steps back. One, two. Just casual steps. We don't want to overstride. One, Two, three. We're going two steps off to the side. Okay. okay, that's your starting point. You're slightly in front with your left. This is where a lot of people mess up. You're running to your plant point, which is like right here. You don't want to run towards the ball. Otherwise, you're going to round your approach and the ball will go away that way. We don't want that. We want the ball down the middle of the post. You're going to run to here. Now, how we're going to do that, how I like to do that off the bat, I like to turn my hips a little bit at the start. So you want your plant foot to start facing here. So turn your plant foot just slightly the other way. Turn your hips this way. Yeah, just a little bit. If my plant ends up too narrow, I've only got this much room. My hips are so closed off that the ball can only go that way and it won't really get high yeah. but if i'm out here i'm in a power position to actually strike the ball where i need to you want to kick the ball with only like 80 percent of your power you don't want to just kill it otherwise once again i was going that way. is a jab step with your left kind of just to get you going it's just a jab step one two the jab step depends on the person you just want to be consistent with your jab step let's go and see it all in one right now all in one <laughs> the jab is messing with my head yeah <laughs> was that good? That's literally your best kick you've ever hit. Really? Literally ever. Did you see the height on the ball? I didn't know that was... I'm such a good coach. Bro. <laughs> that might have been a fluke, but that's literally the best ball I've ever seen her kick. And it was the first ball of the day. I might really be a coach for real. If y'all are in the market for a kicking coach, we're going to get you right. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two. Usually kickers take their time getting back there. It's a mental thing. You got to... Oh, I have to like... You're just like, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> I'm here. Bro. Oh, I'm doing great today. It's not even you, bro. It's the coaching. The coaching is phenomenal. Do you guys see the results we have? I think it's just my like is it a inner skill it's... coming out. I've had it in me this whole time. It's the athleticism, but also turning into better contact. The thing you were missing was contact and your plant was a little bit too close. So you're kind of like yeah. missing the ball a little bit. I think bit. the plant was really messing with me. See what I mean about the hips though? Because it forces you to kind of go outside a little bit. It did. You gonna hit three in a row? Yes. She, okay, she says she can hit three in a row. We about to see. Oh. It hit my toe. I mean, realistically, it's over the soccer goal. It would have been good from right here. I think my foot hit the ground. You did scrape a little bit. But hey, I mean, realistically, like we said, the poster flipped around. It's still good. That's three in a row. We're going to slide back to the 10. Anything over the soccer goal in this video, we're counting as good. Kicking from the 10 is a college and high school extra point. This is a real game kick. Oh, gosh. Before, those kicks can never be kicked in a game because there has to be a seven yard long snap. How do I get more power? Wait like. Room. <laughs> Increasing your distance isn't gonna happen like this. You gotta get in the weight room, you gotta eat right, yeah. and you gotta kick a ton of football. You gotta eat right. Imagine if the sun was blazing right now. You it's know easier what? to kick when the sun's out yeah, too. Yeah, I swear. Because it's warm, it's, the balls feel, aren't as hard. I'm kinda cold right now, I'm a little chilly, and I'm still kicking like crazy. Three, Extra point. One, two. The pressure's Extra on. Extra point. I feel like I'm in the game right now. What do you tell yourself before you kick? I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Yep, exactly that. How'd you know? Bro. Bro. That was good. So that counted. I like that for real. Yeah, we're counting anything over the soccer goal. We're counting in this video. So I scored for my team. The improvement already is insane. Go ahead and drop a W in the comments for me right now if y'all watching at this point in the video because I did not expect this today. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> expect this today. All right, we're making it a little more difficult now. She hasn't missed yet today. We're about to put the real code. This Coach Adam is coming full effect right now. Coach Adam has not had a client miss yet. That's all I'm saying. I'm the only client. Oh, yeah, you so act like you yet. have a long track record. This is your first time as a coach. Everybody has to have a first time. Bro, what if the fans are booing me right now? You're away. Fans gonna boo you the entire time, and they're gonna be up there in the the stands they're oh, gonna be waving no. a bunch of color kicking is so mental it's like shooting a foul shot there's so much more that goes into it because you have to have somebody snap the ball from right there to somebody hold the ball yeah. right here they can mess up to where you have to correct it otherwise if you miss it's not on them it's on you one two. Oh wait i think it was a little off wrong <laughs> what oh Oh, she missed. Why okay. are you whistling me when I'm kicking? Star. I told you I'm going to be a distraction here a little bit. Whistle threw her off a little bit on the last one. We got to have crowd noise. There's going to be people jumping around like, hey, there's 11 people running <laughs> after you every play. Oh, now we're in her head. This is what it's like. It's what it's like. Still made the kick. It doesn't affect me. To be fair, she has experience with things like this. She mentioned it's like shooting a free throw. It is. You have to clear everything out of your mind and just focus on the task that you have to do. She knocked it down. I'm honestly impressed. Thank you. Very well. 
we're not moving it back at all. Like I said, no distance implications today. What we're gonna introduce is a holder. Right now you're seeing the ball every single time, but in a game, it's just gonna be a holder. There's no ball there. It's gotta get snapped and you gotta relocate the ball as you're running towards oh, wow. the ball. There's obviously things we can clean up and stuff like that, but like I said, it's not gonna happen today. But we can introduce a live snap right now. Hopefully you're better at holding than me. Every time she holds, this is what it looks like. Okay. Bro, so scared of the ball. I don't know. It's... I guess you're scared of my foot, not really the ball. But yeah. still, my holds will be perfect. Okay. You don't want your eyes wandering all over the place. So you want your eyes to be here, not wandering up there and having to move. Because then now you're throwing your head all over the place and you don't want to do that. Oh my gosh. So I'm looking at your finger. And when my fingers lift, that's when you go. This is crazy. Okay. That, that might have been your best kick of the day. I think so Off too. Off a live snap. That one felt good. It might have been a fluke though. We're going to do another one right now. Why do you always say that? that Bro. I give up. The rotation isn't perfect, but she is consistently putting the ball right down the middle of the post from a college PAT. So did I You pass? wanted to come here today and learn how to kick. Did you pass? Yeah. I'd say you've very much passed. Y'all know how they kind of got tests at the end of each course? Well, that's what we're doing right now. We got three footballs. If you miss one of them, it's a 66%. So <laughs> it's pretty choice. bad. But hey, we got three footballs. We're going to see how many she gets out of three. Let's go. That <laughs> you made it over both. That was the best that kick of the day. That was the best kick of the day. All right, come on. That Bro, maybe it's all in the... Oh that one cleared both by... I'm getting better and better. Maybe it's all in the hole. That... I give up. <laughs> That's over both again, bro. That's three in a row. Not only just three in a row. Her three best kicks of the day came boom, boom, boom off of live holds. What did I tell you guys was going to happen? At the end, I was going to just come alive. I knew it. I guess it proves anyone can kick a field goal. Whoa. That's pushing it. Now, to the people back home, would you say kicking is harder than it looks? Yes. At first, I was thinking it was going to be super easy, like when I watched that guy miss. But I think like learning the fundamentals is the hardest part. If you wouldn't have showed me those drills at the beginning, I wouldn't have been able to do it, honestly. Now, imagine if you did those drills every day and just got better. I'd be in the NFL. Hey, y'all heard it here first. She going to the league. Obviously, she got 100% on the final test. I think we can start moving it back a little bit next time. If y'all want to see it next time, maybe she puts on a helmet. Maybe Ooh. she wears pads. We move back a little bit. Y'all got to let us know down in the comments what y'all want to see. I appreciate you coming out here. Thanks, Congrats Coach. on uh, passing level one. Let her know that she did a great job down in the comments. Make sure y'all subscribe while you're down there, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace. If you're not already subscribed, I can't say subscribe. If you're not already, <laughs> wait, why is that a tongue twister? If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Less like a telemarketer. If you're not already subscribed, I can't say, I'm okay, sorry. Like hit that subscribe button and let's see how, Ooh. hit this. <laughs> how do you do this, bro? How do you do this?